Hello my friends and welcome back to Coffee Tea Paper. Um, you might be wondering why do I have a whole pile of stuff in front of me? Okay, so my purpose here today, which I have probably named the video after it anyway, so it's probably not really a surprise. Um, but I'm going to pack my travel supplies yeah it looks like a lot at the moment doesn't it <clears throat> I may have got a bit over um, over excited um, <laughs> but uh, yes so we'll, we'll weed them out and put together a bit of a, a travel a travel kit okay so I'll just start with first of all um, this is the journal I'm going to take. So I'm going to take my Tokyo Station um, Traveler's Notebook um, journal and in here, I've just sort of shoved it in at the moment, I'm not going to use this uh, insert, I'm going to take this out and, and I, I'm, I might be saving it or I might just be reserving it for a different purpose down the track. I'm, I'm not hoarding it, okay? <laughs> we don't, we don't want to make that mistake. Um, yeah, so that, that will come out. And in here I'm going to put in my Traveller's Notebook Company Mustard Zipper Pouch, which I have scotch guarded. Mm, after the um, after the orange one got all the blue the blue leather dye on it, but we I cleaned that off, so that was good. So I will I'll put a link to that video where I successfully cleaned off the leather stains on my orange one up the top here, somewhere there. Um, I'm going to take my new pencil board from the uh, 2023 uh, Coffee and Notebooks collection. I am going to take, well, I'm not going to take this, but um, when I set up my journal, I'm going to use uh, one of these rubber bands in order to, to get all the, the inserts in. I'm going to take my sticker release insert that um, I made myself. Oh, that's another video I can link. Ooh, up there, up there. So we'll do that. I'm going to put my little bear charm on because it's the seasonal. That's better that way, isn't it? That's the seasonal charm because I've got the leather ones on my December daily because uh, they, they're the camel leather and it matches the, um, the Superior Labour um, edition really nicely but on this one I'm going to use my little bear so I'll pop that on um, film pocket stickers so there's 18 in here so really handy for creating um, like if you don't want to stick in on business cards and not, you don't want to do a flap all the time I'm going to take uh, these so I can um, put them in slide them in and out all right and this is the insert I'm going to use. I'm going to use the 64 page dot grid refill. Um, I got this one from um, Bookbinders Design when they're having a sale, so that was good. I've done a little um, mock up of what I want the cover to look like, and I've put the things together in there I th it'll probably look a bit different but I'll do that in another video I think so that will be that and that hopefully will be a lot thinner when I set it up and that will go in there so right so we'll come back to that now I oh god I've got a big pile of stuff don't I okay oh, 
Right, let's just do a bit of sorting here, okay? So this is my vertical Delphonics pouch. This is the real one, not the one that I sewed myself. Um, where did I get this one? I got this one from Milligram. They were having a huge sale and I think there was free shipping. And when I added up all the cost, because um, with the other one that I made, I had all the supplies already so that was that was easy uh, but to make a second version I would have had to buy a brass zip um, bought some more um, bias binding bought an internal fabric external fabric and if I didn't have enough thread or a not matching thread I was gonna have to buy more thread and I added it up and it was actually going to cost roughly the same um, yeah so I decided to get this one which I think you've already seen that so everything's got to go in there so we'll put that to one side now you'll remember I got overly excited a few months ago and I bought all the travel stamps so I want to take some, I don't want to take them all. So I've had some time to, to think about, I was actually having a chat about it with my daughter yesterday. Cause she, you know, she's looking at what things she wants to take as well. And I've been using these big numbers in my December daily journal, um, which I've got a few flip throughs on my channel as well. And I've been really, really enjoying them. So I've been using these big stamps together with my Lin Chining uh, monthly stamp collection. However, I'm not going to take them because I think they're a little too big um, for a travel journal. So these are going to stay behind. We'll put them there. Then I've got a couple of different... Um, like photograph themed stamp sets yeah so I've got this one and I've got this one and having a look at it I decided that I probably would take this one over that one this one it gives me a few more options it has a nice frame it's got some lines without actually having um, set a set phrase so I can swap up or swap out the different words there I really like this photograph date um, which you can then fill out there's uh, some stars to rate um, yeah oh, some little numbers so yeah I, I just think this one might be suiting my purposes more this time so We'll put this one here, that one over there. Then I had a similar scenario with these two texty ones. Now you might remember this one when I was doing an unboxing. This was good. <laughs> now I'm not, I'm not rejecting it just based on that. I'm going to take this one because I think this one has more useful phrases uh, packed and ready departure arrival ready for takeoff here we go uh, so on and so forth and I like these little tab ones more they're not going to be quite as ink intensive as uh, these ones and I've already got some stars and hearts in that other set and even though I've got some more stars and some more numbers here I, I just think this is going to be a little bit more versatile so I'll put that one over there, this one falling off over here. This is my Happy Mail one, so that stays behind. And uh, this one, uh, I decided I would leave it behind as well because I don't, I don't really. I hoping, I'm hoping not to put in what a disaster. We'll see, won't we? Um, there's a little camera icon and a location icon but I've gotten a location icon here and a camera icon here 
Um, yeah, so this this one this one stays. Yep, and then the other two sets I'm going to take is this smaller uh, alphabet with smaller numbers and date AM PM and uh, some quotation marks. Uh, yeah. So I thought that would be more uh, flexible. And I'm still umming and ahhing about this one. I like the fact that it's got um, some more symbols. Um, you know, with the, the, the compass rose and some planes and a little map. Um, and yeah, it, it, just, it just strikes me as a little bit more decorative. Which the other, the other stamp sets aren't particularly decorative. They're more uh, about phrases and... Um, a date recording etc so for, for the moment that one's that one's in okay so this will go over there right where are we up to oh yeah if I need stamps I need a stamp block um, I haven't chosen my inks yet we'll get, I'll do that but so I'll put that there um, oh yeah, so I want to take my travel watercolour set, which, oh my gosh, since I've got it, I haven't even had time to look at it, it's really been quite sad. Um, so let's just, um, let's just do that now. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and set that up now. Um, okay, I'll do this later. Uh, but yeah, let's unwrap these. Now, I think I might leave this leather case behind uh, just because it's quite weighty and it certainly adds a bit of bulk. Um, if I was just chucking it into a bag, I would definitely keep it in there, but because I'm going to put it into my Delphonics pouch, um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that. So that goes over there. Aha, okay. Well, they're certainly in there very firmly, I must say. Um, which is a good thing, right? Uh, uh, okay. Slidey, slidey. <sighs> They're like little lollies, aren't they? Slidey, 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 squeezy, squeezy. Okay. So. No, it's slot in there with magnets. Very good. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> don't, don't try that at home. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Okay. I think that's right now. Oh no, they're not in properly. Oh, click. Oh. Or are they meant to be like that? Hmm. I don't know. They're not going to fall out. No. Okay. Maybe they're meant to be on a bit of a slope. Maybe that's the the, th the thing. Huh. Okay. So right, where are we up to? I'll sort that out later. I can go on the reject side. Okay, and of course if one is painting, one needs some paper. So I've got a watercolour paper pad, 300 gm cotton natural white texture 
looks quite nice and it has this little tool for sliding the sheets off after you've painted so that will be all good and of course one needs paint brushes so I've got some travel ones here I'm not going to take this case it's too chunky and I've worked out I can actually fit one of the paint brushes in there so I'll put the medium one in there and I'm going to put the other two in here but we'll get to that in a moment and I need my waterproof pigment fine liners it's so kind of handy with the stand because you can see the different line thicknesses but obviously I don't think I need to bring all of that um, I'm thinking I might bring the 0 0.8 as the thickest the 0 0.1 as the finest Hmm, it's quite a big difference between those two. I think I'll bring the 0.5. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bring the 0.5. Okay. So these can go to one side. Right. Okay. Oh, I forgot about these stamps too. <laughs> yeah. So I thought this is nice because once again, it's a little bit more decorative. So you could use this for clouds or for reflections or for just like decorative mark making and then we've got some trees or leaves and just some little um, botanical and uh, yeah so I thought they'd be quite fun and another travel one I may or may not take this one um, I might do some pre-stamping with this um, I've got some other pre-stamped things so yeah I'm still thinking about this one this is a maybe and this is a yes right let's have a look in here so i'm going to for the, some of the smaller things put them in this little pouch um one needs scissors this is actually a plus um in collaboration with tokyo hands And I think, I can't remember if I got these in Japan or Singapore. Yeah, it was a while. Anyway, scissors. They're quite sharp. They're very good. Of course, I'll be packing this in my toiletries bag, not taking it on board the plane. Um, glue tape. Glue stick. More glue tape and journal clip so that's what we've got in here so far and I will also put in my two other um, travel paint brushes and I can even get my little paper um, paper slidey uh, tool in there as well so yay this goes on the to take pile okay oh it's getting a bit precarious over there don't fall off don't fall off right um oh i wondered where that was from okay so for pens i want to take a couple of fountain pens um but i don't know which ones yet uh i'll probably take a 
ones that I can replace are cartridges and I most likely will take a brown ink and probably um, my yellow ink, my Ombre de Bermani mm, from Herban. Um, but it's also quite handy just to have some gel pens. Uh, so at this point I've got my camel, I've got my grey brown and these are both uh, Zebra Sarasa vintage range with the 0 0.5 and I am also thinking about taking my Muji 0 0.5 brown a gel pen as well. But we shall see. So they're still on the maybe. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. We've done that. Oh yeah, so I've been collecting a few bits and pieces. Um, I've got these film frame stickers. I can't remember where I got these. I got these a while ago. Um, I thought that would be fun. Um, I, this I got in a sticky club pack ages ago, maybe three years ago. Um, some sort of washi map strips, some stamped images from pen pals. Um, I'm thinking about putting this on the front of my insert, but we'll see. Uh, one of my pen pals, Lizzie, put this in my advent calendar of a golfing fellow, so I'm thinking he might come in handy too. Some washi tape samples, that was from Anne from Miss Fish some more sticky club sort of travel type stickers some sort of cardi ephemeral maps and so forth um, this was from helen from cheery letters a sample of that uh, these stickers which i normally sell on my etsy store which is closed for holidays at the moment so that's nice uh, yeah, so just lots of travel things. I'll just go through these, see which is more relevant. Um, yeah, and decide about that. And then in here, I've just got a whole bunch of stuff I've collected. Some pre-stamped stuff, some stickers that people have sent me. Um, yeah, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, so anyway, when I've got it all packed in... Because um, I think I'll put this stuff into the yellow uh, file folder in my journal. And uh, yeah, so we'll see We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm up to. Oh, I do need to take a pencil. Oh, I can't believe I nearly forgot that. Um, and a rubber. I might take my little... I don't really want to take my big one. Uh, yeah, I want to take my Tombow Mono. Um, how much has I got in there? Oh yeah, heaps. So, so I will take that. My cream out. I want to take that. I got this from um, Kawara Tea Care in Joanne's Etsy store and it's a four millimeter which I find uh, fits in between the dot outlines really well. Oh I got some PET tape too so there's uh, some sort of fern. It's just a sample loop airplane mode. Yeah so I thought that'd be fun to use too. Okay, so we'll see how we go. Okay, well next time we'll set up my journal. Thank you for watching. Bye!